What is happening, great people? It's Zangief, your Russian mate from Russia, and traveling with Russell is accompanying me today because we are going to make a video about shopping malls and grocery supermarkets and all that. And you know, on Russell's channel, you can find a lot of this video. He's basically making them every week for <laughs> several times. I can call you a grocery shop expert now, like a shopping mall ambassador. Right, so yeah, I do walk around sort of supermarkets, shopping centers, kind of unique different supermarkets as well so there's so many to see here in Russia yeah thank you for inviting the interesting thing Russell originally is from Australia Australia yeah. so today we'll do our best not only to show the shops but as well to give you some cultural experience how a Russian person can see some things and uh, the expat who is living here for uh, you know, nine years nine years old yes and he still doesn't know Russian <laughs> no <laughs> I know a little bit but not um, enough really but I can get by so several months have already passed since the first sanctions were introduced Used to, but what I see right now is that I don't see that much change. Yeah, because there are a lot of people in the shopping malls, like everybody is going shopping. There's still life in the shopping malls. What do you think about it? I'm gonna almost tell you that walking in this shopping center, it's, it's come almost like business as usual. I know that's hard to cut of grass, but the amount of people we're walking past and coming in and out. I heard that in the US the shopping malls are not that popular anymore. Maybe you guys can tell me whether it's true or not, but what about Australia? People still traditionally go to shopping centers, uh, you know, to go to the retail stores, to come to the supermarkets. We haven't embraced online shopping like America has. Like America's kind of strangleholded by Amazon, you know, the online shopping, everything's available online. Whereas in Australia, we still go to the shopping center to buy things. We still go to white goods stores for a fridge, for a washing machine. Uh, I think the same here in Russia too. Well, partially, yeah, because a lot of things can be bought online. That is something that I do as well. But sometimes you need this, you, need, you want to go outside. Yeah, you want to go somewhere, spend some time, especially in the winter, because the winter can be cold and uh, walking in the park and etc. It's a totally different atmosphere than in the summer. People want to go somewhere, sp spend some time without putting their clothes. You can go to the shopping mall. This culture is quite spread in Russia, especially taking into the account that here are not only the shops, yeah, but as well some um, amusement parks, yeah, some things that can entertain your kids. Yeah, so it's multifunctional place, let's call it like this. Oh, and that's interesting, they have some exhibition of the American classic cars. If you ever had an opportunity to get any of this car for free, like, which one would you prefer? Um... I don't know, maybe I, do I want the fast one over here? Or do I want something more practical where I can put stuff in the back? The problem with these, they're so big cars, but I think I want the fast one right there. Overall, I see that some of the shops, they are close, like Zara here and the Uniqlo behind us, but I don't have this atmosphere of absence of business. Yeah, there are a lot of people and still a lot of shops open, not only Russian brands, but a lot of international brands. What are your thoughts about it? Yeah, for this shopping center, man, there's a few stores closed, literally, what, five or six? But otherwise, there's people here, you know, people are shopping. They're kind of just walking past now and they, it's out of their mind that they're closed and find another store. This is something I mentioned in my videos before. Like for me, it is not that important who owns, yeah, the actual key account, yeah, because like guys are making money anyway, but these are not the money that we see, whatever. What is important that there are working places, despite all the situations, still people manage to continue the business and to deliver for the regular people. No issues with the products and with the people. There are a lot of people here. I think the owner will mention must be the meat section and fish section and bread section because in the previous video they were empty and not everybody understood that it was 11 p.m. We are here in the middle of the day now and you can see that there are a lot of different types of fish and several people standing in the queues. Same situation with the meat section, a lot of different cuts and as well some people, people, people and a lot of different meat sausages more sausages just a lot of stuff they have some internal production here as for the bread section there is a lot of bread and it's cooked during the day as you may see they have some internal factory here we are not re reviewing the prices for some exact products today but your overall thoughts like uh, what is the situation i think initially uh, prices went up there was kind of a little bit of a spike and then in the months since i think prices are kind of going back down slowly and kind of stabilizing and of course, some imported items are higher, but things that are made in Russia, 
they're, they're becoming normal prices again. Just like Russell said, the prices went up like in March, in April, sometimes like two times increase, but overall then it all went down. And for some items, the prices are actually the same as they were. Some are higher, yeah, still higher, and they will continue to be so. But this is the new reality that we here are already used to for several months, yeah. So if you ask me, do I feel something strange now? Probably not, because the situation is not much changing throughout the last months. So I think one interesting thing about uh, the supermarket here is, is, is what your shopping habits are. You know, for my wife and I, they haven't changed in the last six or eight months. So the same things we bought before are still on the shelves like they are today. Yeah, and the increase in prices uh, does vary quite a lot too. So things like staple products are virtually unchanged now, but some things like salmon has gone up. But if we don't eat salmon at home, it's not affecting us. We are right now in the pet shop. It's quite big. Just let's take a look at some animals. They have like such a big cage or aquarium for absolutely nobody. <laughs> oh, this one. Actually, all right, this one and this one is connected. So there is one guinea pig. Did you ever have a parrot or would you want to have one? Um, no, when I was growing up, my parents didn't uh, want all the mess from having the bird and the... Yeah, but now you're a grown-up man, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> True. Um, my wife wants us to get a cat. That's our next uh, acquisition, a cat. Why to have a cat? Look at these interesting birds, or this one. Th this definitely doesn't look like an average Russian grey parrot. I mean, like, sparrow. <laughs> uh, just looking at those parrots there, they're from Australia, so I'm curious if they've been sanctioned or not. So, how did they get here? Russian-made sanctioned products, yeah. <laughs> or, you know, no, parallel import. <laughs> they've flown from out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Parrots flew from Australia to Kazakhstan. Yes, and then from Kazakhstan into, into Russia. <laughs> and I asked for the fast food section, a lot of people here, and you may see that this place is overcrowded. KFC is still here, however, there were some news that they are about to leave and will be just another brand like it was with the McDonald's and Fkusne and Tochka. Burger King, a lot of people here, and just some other local places you might be not aware of, but as well. Tirimok and Kroska Kartoshka, some originally Russian fast food chains I as well made a video about. For the comparison, we decided to travel to another shopping mall not that far away from the previous one. This one as well has a big grocery store and some places to visit, but I think that's the great example to show some different vibes. If you take a look here and only here, you will see that the parking lot is empty. Yeah, people are not coming here. And by the way, IKEA was located here. You know that IKEA is closed and that's how it was before they removed the IKEA sign but at the same time if you take a look there if you see it there are many cars standing on that parking lot closer to Ashan and some other places and as well there is an underground parking lot so you can show a totally different situation depending on what angle you are filming at this is the view right from the entrance and right from the beginning I can tell you that a totally different atmosphere is here compared to the previous shopping mall just because of a lot more space here and probably the same amount of people anyway the place looks more empty anyway everything is working escalators are working some food places are open i know that burger king is there maybe you see the sign as well Fkusne and Tochka, which is the mcdonald's some pizza here and maybe you heard that starbucks left and now it is called stars coffee yeah, like, look, there are more than 20 people, I suppose, including Russell, in the shot. But anyway, everything looks empty. There are more people than I expected, because I was here about a couple of months ago at the end of summer, and this place was more empty than now. Just as they used to do this for many years before sanctions or whatever, just come here and spend some time. This is one of the good spots here, by the way, I think. So Adidas doesn't work. Yeah, so the shop looks closed. Then there are some other shops there that don't work and less people and less music and you walk here and you just have an atmosphere of everything being shut down so yeah if you want to film that look at how everything is closed yeah you can go here turn around here like basically in this alley and this is the vibes that you will put in the video this part of the hall is not as occupied as it was before because you may see the sign of the ikea right there which is not open anymore and that's i think another interesting detail yeah that might affect the presence or absence of people in the shopping mall because a lot of people came here for the ikea another factor is how easy it is to get here <laughs> yeah there's no metro station coming here so there is a small 
uh, number of buses coming here, but you really have to have a car. And then it's immediately next to the Makad, which is a really busy highway that kind of puts you off wanting to come here as well. We came here on bus. <laughs> Electronics are working, different shops are open. As I mentioned, this shop in Mollesville has a big grocery store, so what is happening here? Next to the entrance, that's the bread section, they as well have their own bakery. This place is not overcrowded, however, still there are many people. The sausages, some more sausages, fruits, vegetables, all the greens, candies. Basically, just all the areas that I'm taking a look at, they are fully stocked. Anyway, if you're interested in some specific products, you can let, let me know, but probably a Russell, yeah, because once again, Russell is making a lot of videos on the shopping malls, yeah, so. Yeah, shopping malls, supermarkets, uh, specialty stores as well, so where they've got specific products in them. Anyway, I think that me and Russell today did manage to show you the current situation here regarding the shopping malls, grocery stores and other stuff. The point that I want to make here is that despite everything being in place, we don't have this atmosphere of holiday or whatever, like, look, everything is great here. I'm just happy, first of all, about the working places. Yeah, because as a working man myself, I understand what is happening overall, yeah, I as well deliver for, for my family and I'm happy for everybody who is still able to do this, whatever the place of their current being is. I just hope that you find this video and all the videos that Russell is making, yeah, just as the overview of the current situation and nothing more. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video and the walk around of two different shopping malls. It was Zangief, your Russian mate from Russia, and Russell from Traveling with Russell. Thank you for coming and see you next time. Bye.